Welcome back, everybody. Hey, mark your calendars for Mississippi's Walk for Diabetes. It's coming up this weekend. That's right. Joining us now to tell us about the event is Diabetes Foundation of Mississippi Coast Can Do Kids, Georgia Bailey. And Georgia, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting yeah. me. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about this. I know that um, one of the important things is this is a, a great fundraiser and it's actually a walk in which um, all the money raised stays right here, right? Or at yes, least um, in South Mississippi. In Mississippi. And it goes towards families with type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Now I have to ask you, what is uh, Coast Can Do Kids? Coast Can Do Kids is a group of kids that we get together up by Jackson twice a year at Camp Can Do. While the kids get to learn about diabetes and have lots of fun, the parents also get to take classes and learn about it. Oh, that's important. It is. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of uh, Mississippians have diabetes, one of the highest rates in the country, actually. And a lot of people are not um, diagnosed, too. Maybe as yeah. many as one in eight. Isn't that right? Um, I think it's I think it is one in eight. I wasn't diagnosed until three years after I had developed the disease. Really? And how do you treat it? Well, I mean, without uh, getting too personal, we don't want I to treat my diabetes with this continuous glucose monitor on my arm that connects to my phone, and I self-administer shots of insulin because my pancreas doesn't make any. Is that yeah. kind of new, or has that been around for a while? Uh, it's been around for about the past 10 or 20 years. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've done a, a so several it's, stories it's on new. it. Every time it, it improves a little bit each year, which it is does. great, and now it's gotten uh, much simpler. Uh, for people who do have diabetes. So you didn't know you had it for a few years? Did, were you having some symptoms, but you just kind of brushed them aside? The symptoms, they catch on very, very slowly. Uh, like I said, it took two, three years before we figured out I was diabetic. So I originally developed type one diabetes probably about when I was in kindergarten and I wasn't diagnosed until I was in third grade. I'm in 10th grade now, so I've had diabetes for seven years. I just actually hit my seven year mark this past January. So well, it's great cool. to have you involved in this because you can help understand what these kids are going through too. Yeah, I enjoy doing it. Yeah. And the walk's coming up Saturday, as it you is. can see right there, uh, registration at nine o'clock in the morning. The walk gets underway at 10 o'clock. The place to be will be Jones Park in Gulfport. Yeah, registration right at uh, 9 o'clock. So thank you so much for joining us today, Georgia. Thank you for having me. Yeah, good to have you here.